In Washington, the House will reconvene at noon today to try and elect a new speaker again. Congressman Kevin McCarthy failed to get the needed votes for the 11th time yesterday. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise is still a top contender for the position. That would only be if Kevin McCarthy would drop out, and that doesn't seem to be happening. Today marks two years since the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. President Biden will award the first Presidential Citizens Medals of his term to 12 people who helped protect the Capitol that day and the presidential election results. And joining us now with more on that is U.N. political analyst Dr. Ed Shervinak. Uh, thank you for coming in. This, is, this has been something that none of us has ever seen before. We haven't seen uh, an extended vote like this since before the Civil War. Yeah, right now it's, it's, it's like 200 years. Yes, <laughs> so, 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 and, and, and we, uh, the, the record is like 130 back in 1856 or something like yes, that. that. But it's just, it, it's crazy. It's, it's, well, it was much different back then because the federal government didn't have all the responsibilities that it has today, and so you yeah. know, they could take their time because most of the action was done at the state level. And then to put things into perspective, McCarthy needs, needs uh, you know, he's only got a four-vote four uh, four margin. Nancy Pelosi had only a four-vote margin, and she got her, 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 her caucus together. Uh, McCarthy has not been able to do that. No, and that, he didn't do it beforehand. That's the thing. He had a month prior to this, you know, January 3rd for the vote, and that he wasn't able to put together a coalition that would give him the 218 votes. And so that speaks to his leadership skills. And, and right now, it, 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 is, it is, and even Republicans are saying this, it's damaging the Republican Party. Yes, uh, it's damaging the Republican Party, but you know the insurgents aren't interested in the reputation of the Republican Party. They're basically interested in basically performative acts to show people that they are fighting for them, that they're fighting against this corrupt Washington elite, the lobbyists, the special interest, and that you know we're going to bring you know more populist government to the federal government, and we're going to basically scale back the federal government. And the majority of the caucus right now is backing uh, McCarthy. They're getting madder and madder as each day goes by at these 10 or 11 holdouts. They are getting angry, uh, and they've been angry at these holdouts, but they're also their concern is that, um, you know, that McCarthy will be giving away the store and that he's going to make all these concessions and that he'll get the title, but it'll be a fairly empty title, and it'll make it harder for the House of Representatives to Yeah, operate. and Steve Scalise's name has been bandied about. Uh, he is, he, in fact, he's told me he is not going to, to do anything uh, unless McCarthy would step down. And McCarthy keeps saying there's no way he's going he's gonna to give it up. No, he basically says that he's in it you know, for the long haul and that you know, they can continue to keep taking votes. The problem is, is that nothing can happen in the House until they select a the leader. There's no swearing in. There's no committee assignments. Yeah. And there's so not even a, a, a 118th Congress right now no. because none of, they're still congressmen elect. That's correct. And so they're waiting to be sworn in. They're waiting for their committee assignments. And that can't happen until they select a speaker. And just how much, how much more can Kevin McCarthy give away to these, to these people to try and get what, what, what he wants and what they want, because he's given away a lot already. He already has, and we have seen that the numbers have not moved. And so he's making these concessions, but he's not getting anything in return. And so it may be just that these folks just don't want to see him as the speaker. There's this distrust, this dislike about him. It seems to be very personal, and no matter what he does, they're going to vote against yeah, him. Yeah, and right now it is, it is more personal than it is for, for some of the issues because they've gotten the concessions. Yes. It, just, it just seems personal. There has been talk of maybe a coalition government where you get Democrats uh, to, to agree to, to vote his way if they can get some some committee assignments, things like that. You, you know, that would be kind of the, the radical approach because, you know, it's, it's very polarized in Congress yeah. right now. Jeff and, noticed that. Yes, <laughs> uh, and so um, that would offend a number of, you know, hardcore Republicans, ultra-conservative Republicans moving into an uh, alliance with Democrats. And that, you know, Democrats aren't sure exactly what they could get. Uh, maybe some committee assignments, maybe some positions on the Rules Committee, but there's, you know, 
basically is really not a whole lot that they can offer. And there is some kind of irony that this is all happening today on the uh, second year anniversary of the uh, Capitol insurrection. Uh, let's switch to local politics for, for a moment. We do know John Kennedy is out. He, was, he would have been a force in, in the race. Uh, the only really announced candidate right now is, is Jeff Landry. Yes. But there are a lot of people on the sidelines, Billy Nungesser, John Schroeder, uh, some other ones. Any names that you hear popping up? Uh, those are the names that I keep hearing as well, Sharon Hewitt, uh, you know, state senator from Slidell. Uh, Garrett Graves is also yeah. uh, being considered. And so right now, Jeff Landry has the field to himself. He's All got right. name recognition, he's got money, uh, you know, he's got endorsements from the Republican Party, and there's no real other, you know, quali quality change. Well, we're going to see a lot of people jumping in uh, before the end Probably. of the year. All yes. right. Uh, thank you very much, Ed. We appreciate it.